this tree can treat heart attacks and strokes. The bark of the willow tree contains an active ingredient called salicin. When consumed, the body turns that into salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is a precursor to aspirin and is still used to this day as an ingredient. Our ancestors actually used to chew on the bark of these trees for pain relief. Aspirin is used for pain relief, treating heart attacks and strokes. Ata kau mau tahu tak pasal bau hujan? Ha. Bau ni ada nama tau. Petrichor. Dia dihasilkan oleh sebenarnya bakteria yang ada dekat tanah. Dia orang ni akan duk lepak kat tanah cuba untuk menghancurkan benda-benda yang dah mati. Tapi bila kering sangat, dia tak boleh buat kerja. Bila ada air sebab tu baru-baru hujan ke atau sebelum hujan bila masa udara tu dah lembab sikit kan Dia orang startlah macam Oh aku dah boleh buat kerja sebab aku dah ada air Dia pun buat buat kerja Sambil dia buat kerja dia akan keluarkan geosmin Sejenis chemicals by product dia lah Kira kau macam nak senang cakap tak Dia orang buat kerja dia orang berpeluh ha, Keluar lah bau peluh So kita tengah hidup bau peluh dia orang sebenarnya <laughs> Tapi bau dia sedap nak buat macam mana tu lah Kalau bau peluh orang kita lari and then we're going to cut out the introns before it leaves the nucleus. And then we're going to take this mRNA and we're going to go out to the workbench. And what is the workbench? Ribosomes. Ribosomes. And every three bases on the mRNA is called a codon, codon which is complementary to a anticodon on what? tRNA. And the T stands for? Transfer. transfer. And it's transferring an amino acid. tRNA one lands, tRNA two lands, the amino acids hook together, and we build a protein. protein. Now, this part to this part was called what? Transcription. Transcription. And where does that take place? In the nucleus, if you have one. This part here is called what? Translation. Translation. And the other song we learned, right? Right? Boom, 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 boom. That is called what? DNA what? Replication. And that's all part of the central... Good. Hai tu kau mah Hari ni kita nak betulkan salah faham Yang selama ni kita duk takutkan Jerong macam Eh hey, gana Jerong Memang dia ganas Ya betul kita kena hormat dia sebagai Raja lautan Tetapi Kita tak payah nak sampai cuak sangat Duk kata binatang ni binatang yang tak berperi ke ikanan Sebabnya Ikan yang ganas kita cakap ni Tahun lepas Lima orang meninggal disebabkan ikan ni And on average Empat orang meninggal disebabkan jerung setiap tahun Wow macam wow Banyaknya kan Cuba teka manusia bunuh dia berapa banyak setahun Cuba teka Cuba teka Kalau awak teka dalam seratus Yes Seratus juta jerung mati sebab manusia setiap tahun Patutnya jerung tu yang takut dengan kita Bukan kita yang takut dengan jerung And semua jerung punya tak berlaku dekat laut Tempat dia Kita yang menceroboh masuk dalam laut And then lepas tu dia serang kita Lepas tu kita nak marah dia Pernah dengar jerung menyerang dekat kamera Nak, nak pernah dikenal Pernah kena kejar dengan jerung To be fair Ada jerung yang boleh berjalan dekat darat Sabar sabar Jangan takut Jangan panik dulu Yang pertamanya dia panggil sebagai walking shark Ataupun e-pilot shark Ada dekat Australia Of course And Dia panjang ni pun satu meter je Nampak ah Comel je pun Dia bukannya berlari macam kuda pun So Jerung tak menyerang dekat atas darat Kita yang masuk tempat dia And then kita yang marah dia serang balik Cannot like that Tak boleh gitu Okay Jadi jangan terpengaruh sangat okay Yang Jerung dia jahat No Manusia ke jahat <laughs> Okay Tell me something that's really embarrassing that happened to you. Oh man, I've been waiting to tell this story. Um, so I studied biology and uh, in my final year at uni, I had to um, take a swab from my mouth, extract the DNA and run it on a plate. Um, if you had one line, you were female because the X chromosome is the same length um, and the Y chromosome is shorter, so you'll get two lines on your plate. Simple as that. So runs my plate and there's two lines on it. I don't understand um, why it's come up that I'm a boy. So I asked, I asked the lecturer and he goes to me, I don't know, why would there be male DNA in your mouth? <laughs> he kept a straight face. And still to this day, I cringe about that interaction. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, so ramai yang tag saya kat video ni and then dia cakap Boleh tolong terangkan tak? Kenapa dia tukar kulit? Air tu apa buat kat dia? Well, my answer is This is not real! This is CGI! This is CGI! 3D! It's not! 
real. It's not. Can fish see water? This is a great question. The answer is no, but the reason why is really cool. So let's talk about humans for a second. We are surrounded by air that's moving and dust particles and gunk and by white noise and smells. And generally we don't notice it. That's because our brains deliberately filter stuff out like that. Life would be much more difficult if we were noticing all of the dust around us on a daily basis. It's the same for fish. If they could see water all of the time, they literally wouldn't be able to focus on anything else. In fact, some animals have even developed ways of seeing through murky water. Such as lobsters, they have these super segmented eyes purely so that they can see through murky water. It's technology that some militaries have used to be able to develop cameras that see through smoke and fog and stuff. Basically, in the same way that we don't see air, fish don't see water. Now, I'm sure people will be asking, well, can fish see air? No, but the reason why is way more complicated, so if you want a part two, let me know. Three little birds sat on the window And they told me I don't need to worry